What is up YouTube, Ultimate Lock here, I'm going to be going over how to fix the black screen of death. The black screen of death is a major issue in the Nintendo DS family. It has been an issue since the original DS, all the way up to the brand new 3DS XLs, and it has not been fixed and most likely will not be fixed. If you're watching this and it is the whatever next generation Nintendo console, probably is the same issue. So furthermore, I'm going to be going over what the issue basically is. So your console will not turn on. And when you go to basically charge the system, the orange light will appear for two to three seconds and then it will disappear. That pretty much confirms it. There's not too much else it could be. Because obviously if there is, it wouldn't actually charge anymore. So what it is saying is that the fuse is blown. So again, if you go and plug it into the charger and it lights up for two to three seconds and then it disappears, then that is the issue. So what you're going to do is you're going to open up two new tabs, right, on your computer, of course. And first tab, you're going to go to YouTube. You're going to type in the following. Whatever your uh, console that is that is not working, dismantle video. So if your console is a 3DS XL, you're going to type in 3DS XL dismantle video. And what you're going to do is you're going to disassemble your 3DS XL, right? And the second tab, you're going to type in 3DS XL or whatever system you're using, right? You're going to type that name in. So since we're going with 3DS XL, we're going to type in 3DS XL uh, fuse location. And it's going to show you where the fuse is located on the Nintendo 3DS XL uh, PCP board or motherboard, whichever you want to call it. And then from that point on, you're going to locate it, obviously, and then you're going to use one of the two. You're going to either use solder or you're going to use conductive wire glue. And you're going to put them on the uh, fuses and that is going to make them actually work, which is really nice. And after you do that, you're going to put your system back together and it'll work out brand new. Like, it's very, very easy. And it's not rocket science, but I feel like it is because I had this issue and I had it for about like three hours. Couldn't figure it out. Watched like four or five YouTube videos. And all the YouTube videos were like, I can't power on my Nintendo DS. Uh, I can't get it fixed. Please help me. I'm like, why the hell did you not put that in the title? Why did you list it under the name of uh, 3DX XL, uh, like black screen of death and you didn't say that you didn't get it resolved like oh my god it was so annoying but uh i finally came around a video that was basically saying here's the fuse locations uh this is the problem and from that point on i was like yeah there's no way i'm not gonna there's no way i could see it so i went off and just looked at the fuse locations on um uh, google figured it out and soldered he used a uh, non-soldering uh, conductive wire glue which you can pick up at radio shack and shit like that i would rather use solder solder's more permanent rather than uh, conductive wire glue because you don't know how long that's going to last it should last very very long time but uh solder is obviously more widely used so it's not some third party crap it is uh, obviously something that's been used for a very long time for a very good reason and once you do that, your system should work. Uh, this is no like one, two, three, very, very easy method. It's going to take you probably about 35 minutes to get it done, but it will not be like an issue that will keep reappearing. It usually only happens when something really weird happens with your Nintendo DS system. Example, um, I had it with my Nintendo DS Lite and also had it with my Nintendo DSi. This system uh, has been like sitting up there or uh, sitting up on my shelf for like eight months and this is the first one that got it I didn't know what the hell it was I couldn't power it on and I put in the charging cable and it lit up for about two to three seconds and then it died so I was like ah, couldn't fix it and then my Nintendo DS Lite had the exact same issue I got pretty pissed so uh, I needed this for something because I was using the action replay so I went off and was looking around and trying to figure out how to fix it and I stumbled upon that post and I was like, oh yeah, that's how you fix it. So I fixed this one, right? And it works. And then I fixed the Nintendo DSi and it works. So in theory, it should work for all the other ones. Obviously it does. Like Nintendo really hasn't changed too much with their systems. They've changed the capabilities of what it does. Some can do 3D, some can't do 3D. 
but the board layout is pretty standard that's why a lot of people when they're doing like mods it's not too hard to do a mod for a new ds system example if you know how to uh do a controller mod for a nintendo or let's just say a uh, xbox controller where you go off and change all the wires on the pcb board that they have there you can most likely figure out how to do it on the nintendo ds Lite system fairly easy because it's not like it's not such a different thing it's more along the lines of you already have the knowledge and you just need to know what you need to use to apply the knowledge so once you understand how it works you just have to apply the knowledge that you've learned to it so if you know that the fuse location is bad whatever system you have figure out where the fuses are and then fix the fuses and uh that's probably more what you'll learn in school than um any of your teachers do combined is that amazing no not really you'll learn a lot in school stay stay in school don't do drugs kids anyways guys peace out